What's up comic book readers? Welcome to Too Many Comics, I'm your host Eric and today we are taking a look at a title published by Top Shelf. WYSIWYG, Portrait of Serial Hacker, Ed Pisker's debut comic book published in 2011. Inspired by the tales of notorious real-life hackers, WYSIWYG follows the story of Kevin Fennecal going by the hacker name of Boing Thump. Accompanied by his sole friend Winston Smith, Kevin will start off his hacking career by faking bus passes and scoring free long-distance calls by whistling into payphones. The story is presented as a biography of Kevin's life through his hacking career, from his minor crimes as a kid up until adulthood when he will be waiting his trial for the crimes he committed. One of the great things Pisker achieves in this book is raising some questions on the approach of many countries, but more specifically the United States, in regards to cybercrime. And while doing so, he also reveals the application of some of the talented hackers by confronting the mainstream culture that has made them the modern day boogeyman. With a very informative and somewhat documentary approach, WYSIWYG leaves us by the end of the read with a clearer picture of the early history of hacking and does so by making hackers seem less estranged. From an artwork perspective, the book is stylized with its clean and consistent inking on every panel. Pisker uses a pretty rigid six-panel layout which brings a nice rhythm to every episode. His unusual style of drawing also takes a lot of inspiration from alternate comic artists like Robert Crumb and Daniel Klaus. It is worth noting that a lot of attention has been brought in order to give the readers a real feel for the 80s and 90s era. It does so by reproducing cars, clothes and technology filled with nostalgia like old PCs, Commodores and Apple computers. All in all, this comic shows a lot of ambition to which Pisker lives to in every way. The story and the art are brilliantly tied together and the theme is one that is uncommon and that raises important questions that have yet to be answered. Well, this is it for this video and until next time, keep on reading!